Central Philippine University, also referred to as Central or CPU, is a private research university in Iloilo City, Philippines. Established in 1905 through a grant given by the American business magnate, industrialist and philanthropist John D. Rockefeller under the auspices of the American Baptist Foreign Mission Society, it is the first Baptist-founded and second American university in the Philippines and Asia after Silliman University 1901 in Dumaguete. It initially consisted of three separate schools, the Jaro Industrial School for Boys, the Bible School that trains Christian ministers and workers and the Baptist Missionary Training School for training of women religious workers and missionaries. In 1913, women began to be admitted to the School for Boys, and in 1920 the school started offering high school education. The School for Boys became a junior college and started offering college degrees in 1923 and changed its name to Central Philippine College. In 1936 the junior college became a senior college and two years after it in 1938, the Baptist Missionary Training School for Women merged with the Theology Department of the college. In 1953, the college attained university status, Iloilo Mission Hospital, the university's hospital which was established in 1901 by the Presbyterian Americans, is the first American and Protestant founded hospital in the Philippines, predates the founding of CPU by four years, Central pioneered nursing education in the Philippines, when Presbyterian American missionaries established the Union Mission Hospital Training School for Nurses in 1906. In the same year, the CPU Republic, Central Philippine University Republic, the university's official student governing body, was organized, making it as the first established student governing body in Southeast Asia. Central was also the first institution to pioneer the work study program in the country that were later patterned and followed by other institutions. The university maintains to be non sectarian and independent but affiliated with the Convention of Philippine Baptist Churches and maintains fraternal ties with the international ministries of the American Baptist Churches, known before as the American Baptist Foreign Mission Society. CPU consists of 18 schools and colleges that provides instruction in basic education all the way up to the postgraduate levels. In the undergraduate and graduate levels, its disciplines include accountancy, agriculture, arts and sciences, business, computer studies, education, engineering, hospitality management, law, mass communication, medical laboratory science, medicine, nursing, pharmacy, lifestyle and fitness, real estate management, rehabilitative science, tourism, and theology. The Commission on Higher Education CHED Philippines, has granted the university a full autonomous status the same government agency that accredited some of its programs as centers of excellence and centers of development. The Department of Science and Technology Philippines has designated the university's College of Engineering both as DUST Department of Science and Technology School and Center for Civil Engineering Education for Western Visayas Region. Central is a registered national landmark by the National Historical Commission of the Philippines and a Philippine registered cultural property by the National Commission for Culture and the Arts. The annual prestigious National Bombo Music Festival is hosted by the university and is held at the university's Rose Memorial Auditorium. Also, the university has been designated as a regional art center or Kaisa Sa Signing Regional Art Center by the Cultural Center of the Philippines. It has also been certified as one of the few ISO certified educational institutions in the Philippines by the International Organization for Standardization ISO. The Board of International Ministries of the American Baptist Churches likewise on the other hand has awarded Central a School of Excellence award. International collaborations and linkages with foreign institutions has earmarked CPU to offer undergraduate, graduate and doctorate overseas programs in Chinese, Korean and Vietnamese universities. A fine result of it include when the university opened an overseas academic programs jointly with the Thai Nguyen University TNU and Thai Nguyen University of Economics and Business Administration TUEBA both in Vietnam CPU alumni and associated people have been recognized in the wide range of fields 
some of them became pioneer in their distinctions. It include National Artists of the Philippines, Laureates of Ramon Magsaysay Award Asian equivalent of Nobel Prize and Rolex Award, Senators, Presidential Cabinet Members, United Nations Consul General, Associate Justice and Chief Justice of the Supreme Court of the Philippines, First Female General in the Armed Forces of the Philippines, First Female General in the Philippine Army, Public Servants, Congressmen, Legislators, and Notable Business Tycoons. Topic History Topic Incorporation and Founding In the early 20th century when the Philippines was opened to the American Protestant missionaries prior and after the Philippines was ceded by Spain to the United States through the 1898 Treaty of Paris after the Spanish-American War, a comedy agreement by the Protestant American churches was established that the Philippine Islands will be divided into mission territories, thus the western Visayan region went to the jurisdiction of the Baptists. The origins of Central Philippine University dates back in 1901 when the American Northern Baptists, through its Foreign Mission Board, the American Baptist Foreign Mission Society, laid a plan to establish mission schools following the comedy agreement of the Division of the Islands for the Evangelical Mission and through a benevolent grant given by John D. Rockefeller, an American industrialist and philanthropist. John D. Rockefeller himself was a devoted Northern Baptist with numerous church-related philanthropy works throughout his life, that is why he gave a grant to the Northern Baptists that resulted in the establishment of Central. On the other hand, in 1901 also, four years before the founding of Central in 1905, alongside when the American Baptists came in Iloilo, the Presbyterians came and they established the Union Mission Hospital, where Central, since its founding until to this day is closely associated with under the Presbyterian Church in America by Joseph Andrew Hall as the first Protestant and American hospital in the islands. Since the hospital's founding, Presbyterians had worked hand-in-hand -hand with the Baptists for the operation of the hospital. The hospital was later renamed to Union Hospital and later to its present name, Iloilo Mission Hospital. Following the years since its founding, in 1925, its administration was eventually transferred to the Baptists who also bought the land in the city of Jaro now part and a district of Iloilo City where the hospital now stands. The hospital predates the school's founding by four years. It also serves since then as the Hospital of Central. The hospital pioneered the nursing education in the Philippines when it established the Union Mission Hospital Training School for Nurses the present Central Philippine University College of Nursing in 1906. The school also produced the first graduate nurses in the country. Then in 1903, there will be two schools that will be established by the mission, an industrial school for boys and a Bible school to train pastors and other Christian workers was incorporated. Later, it was voted on 2 December 1904 to finally establish the both schools. The task to found both schools was given to William O. Valentine, an American missionary, who became the first principal and president with the help of the other co-founders. Valentine was in the service of the American Baptist Foreign Mission Society, where he first ministered as a missionary in Burma, first in Rangoon, then in Mandalay, where he became the principal of the Baptist Mission High School for Boys in 1895. The new mission was given to him by the Mission Society in 1903. During his eighth year in Burma he suffered severe sunstroke and returned to America for treatment. There he met his future wife, Nurse Ina Jane Van Allen. Valentine and Van Allen were married in 1903 and the couple left for his new appointment in Iloilo in the Philippines. The establishment of the Baptist Missionary Training School and the Jaro Industrial School is associated with the first Baptist church in the Philippine Islands, the Jaro Evangelical Church, which was established in 1900 by the Northern American Baptists also, now the American Baptist Churches. 
In June 1905, the Baptist Missionary Training School opened in the home of the Valentines, under the auspices of the American Baptist Foreign Mission Society from the United States alongside with other missionaries that are considered as co-founders. There were twelve pupils with some Bible women who attended as auditors, the benevolent grant given by the industrialist and oil magnate John D. Rockefeller, was used to provide the school the facilities during the school's establishment along with the industrial school which was later established in the fall of 1905 and to purchase a 24-hectare piece of land in the city of Jaro now a part of Iloilo City where Central's main campus is located at present. In the fall of 1905, the Jaro Industrial School was opened as a free vocational boarding school for poor boys. The first class consisted of 20 boys who worked four hours a day to pay their tuition, room and board, and spent four hours in the classroom. One of the school's innovations was the adoption of student self-government, the first in the Southeast Asia, known today as Central Philippine University Republic, which is modeled on American civil government. Dr. William Orison Valentine, worked for its incorporation and recognition by the Philippine government. A year later when Jaro Industrial School was established, one of the school's innovations was the adoption of student self-government which is modeled on American civil government, the Jaro Industrial School Republic. The Republic continues to this day as the Central Philippine University Republic. It still holds the distinction as the oldest student governing body in Southeast Asia. The original purpose of the founding of the Industrial School for Boys was quoted a century later in 2005 during the centennial celebrations of the university. The original purpose of the school, Jaro Industrial School, was to provide opportunity for poor Filipino boys to receive a good Christian education by working their way through school. Actual work experience and earnest study of the Bible were the core of the curriculum." Later the leadership of the Bible school was turned over to the Reverend Henry Munger, who conducted classes off campus. In 1907, Reverend William Valentine became and tenured again as head of the Jaro Industrial School. By 1907 during his term, there were 300 boys working an active farm and in various trades. All of this students were required to live on campus. In 1907 also, the Bible school split off under a separate principal, Dr. Eric Lund. Classes were held at the Mission Press building where Lund was doing his scripture translation work. In 1910, independent student media at the Jaro Industrial School created the first official student publication, The Ho, the present Central Echo. It is now one of the oldest student publications in the Philippines. In 1912, Dr. Lund left the Baptist Missionary Training School and it was closed. Following that year, in 1913, Dr. Valentine's objectives were realized and in the same year the Jaro Industrial School also admitted its first female student. It was fully incorporated then by the Philippine government and enrolled 740 students. Then in 1915, Jaro Industrial School opened its first high school program, starting with first and second year classes, adding third and fourth year classes in 1920. As the both two schools were founded by the Northern American Baptists from the American Baptist Churches, ordination for women is affirmed that resulted and eventually in 1917, the Jaro Industrial School elected its first female head and principal, Mary J. Thomas, who tenured as a principal of the Jaro Industrial School from 1917 to 1918. The Baptist Missionary Training School later however was reopened in 1913 by Reverend Alton Bigelow. It was under Reverend Alton Bigelow's leadership that the Bible School began to have a definite direction in its development. In 1921, the following year after the Jaro Industrial School added fourth-year high school classes, the school graduated its first high school batch, the first board of trustees which was formed a year earlier before the founding of the two schools, is composed of five members from the Mission Conference which are selected by the Mission Conference in annual session. 
They remained American in composition until prior to the conversion of the Jaro Industrial School as a junior college. In the early years of the school's operation, building up qualified faculty and staff had been a great challenge. Some missionaries gave part-time service and Dr. David S. Hibbard, founder of the Silliman Institute, now Silliman University, also provided Filipino instructors who had trained at Silliman Institute to accommodate the need for tertiary education in the area. A junior college was opened in 1923 and the name of the school was changed to Central Philippine College. In April of the following year, the Baptist Missionary Training School became an organic part of the junior college. The senior college opened in 1936 and by 1945 degrees were offered, Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Science, Bachelor of Education, Bachelor of Theology and Bachelor of Religious Education. When the junior college became a senior college in 1936, the College of Engineering was also established. In 1938, Baptist Missionary Training School BMST, for women which was established independently on October 20, 1905, became became part of the theology department of the college. In the same year also, students and interested sectors of the school began to press for the opening of a law school. Finally, on 18 March 1939, the Board of Trustees voted to apply for a permit to offer the first two years of the law course. It opened in the school year 1939-1940. Attorney Pablo Oro, who had been one of the leaders in urging this move and in seeking patrons to help develop the law library, was given the responsibility for developing the program. Pablo Oro, a member of the Philippine Bar, was a graduate of Silliman University and of the University of Manila College of Law. Topic. World War II. Academic life in the campus was interrupted when invading Japanese forces landed in Iloilo. As a consequence of the invasion, missionaries assigned at Central fled and took refuge in the mountain barrios of Katipunan, Tapaz, Capiz. They hid in the forest they called Hopevale, with the help of their Filipino friends. They were eventually captured by the Japanese troops on December 19, 1943. The missionaries begged them to free the Filipino captives and instead offered themselves as ransom. At the dawn of December 20, 1943, the missionaries asked to be allowed to pray and, an hour later, they told their Japanese captors they were ready to die. The adults were beheaded and the children were bayoneted. The missionaries who died in the massacre are today called the Hopevale Martyrs. The martyrs are, Dr. Francis Howard Rose, former president and head of Central, Jeannie Claire Adams, Professor James Howard Clovel, Charma Moore Clovel, Dorothy Antoinette Dowell, Signe Amelia Erickson, Dr. Frederick Willer Meyer, Ruth Schach Meyer, Gertrude Coombs Rose, Rev. Earl Frederick Rounds, Louise Cummings Rounds, and Earl Douglas. Despite the order that these Americans should go home because of the war, they refused to leave their mission and eventually sacrificed their lives. Topic: Post-war years and reconstruction. After the war ended, the college was reopened by the remaining members of the faculty and by returning missionaries. When the Second World War broke out, the college's buildings were destroyed. Reconstruction was made possible through funds from friends at home and abroad. The college's graduate school was formally opened in 1951 with Dr. Linnea A. Nelson as dean. Dr. Nelson, holder of an ed.D. degree from the University of California, Berkeley, had been a missionary in China from 1935 to 1949. Since its founding, the graduate school has been chosen by the Fund for Assistance to Private Education FAPE, as a graduate center for MBA, MA in English and Master of Engineering for the following fields of specialization, civil engineering, chemical engineering, electrical engineering, and mechanical engineering. 
When the war ended, Dr. Henry S. Waters, the post-war director of Iloilo Mission Hospital and also principal of the Iloilo Mission Hospital School of Nursing in 1946-1947, pressed for the offering, with Central Philippine College the forerunner of Central Philippine University, a collegiate course leading to the Bachelor of Science in Nursing degree. The director of the Bureau of Private Schools and the members of the Board of Examiners for Nurses authorized the opening of the Bachelor of Science in Nursing four-year course in 1947 that resulted the school's operation transferred to the college, Dr. Waters served as acting dean of the new College of Nursing at Central Philippine College 1947-1948. When he returned to the United States, Dr. Teofilo Mart served as the Executive Secretary 1948-1949. Loretto D. Tupaz, who finished her Bachelor of Science in Nursing degree at CPU, was the Acting Dean from 1949 to 1950 and served in this capacity until the arrival of Esther Salzman, Master of Science in Nursing and an American Baptist Foreign Mission Society missionary nurse, who held the deanship from 1950 to 1961. During her term, the college offered three curricular programs, the Bachelor of Science in Nursing four-year course, the GN Bachelor of Science in Nursing supplemental course and the Bachelor of Science in Nursing five-year course. Tupaz and Salzman worked together to develop Central Philippine College of Nursing later the Central Philippine University College of Nursing and Allied Health Sciences into a college of distinction, recognized both in the Philippines and abroad. Salzman served as dean until 1961 when she retired in the United States. Lily Plagata, MSN, was appointed to the deanship 1961 to 1974. When she resigned and went abroad, she was replaced by Carmen Centeno, Master of Science, for the remaining months of 1963. Centeno, however, also left for the United States, and Loretto D. Tupaz, who finished her M.A. degree at CPU, resumed the deanship 1963-1970, assisted by Maria Pablico, MSN 1969-1970. Pablico also resigned to work in the United States from 1963-1973. Tupaz continued to administer the three course programs of the college, the Bachelor of Science in Nursing five-year course, the CCT clinical teaching course, and the Bachelor of Science in Nursing supplemental course. On 1 April 1953, the college gained government recognition and was given a university charter, converting the college into what is now known as the Central Philippine University. In July 1955, the Honorable Robert Simmons, the former Chief Justice of the Nebraska State Court, visited the campus and lectured to the students. He became very much interested in the former law school Dean Addy, Pablo Oro and the College of Law. Justice Simmons gave generous support to the law school's library and encouraged his friends and colleagues to do the same. In 1965, Central's College of Engineering offered a one-year sanitary engineering course with three graduates. One could only enroll in this course after completing the civil engineering course. However, this restriction was abolished later due to an insufficient number of enrollees. In 1956, after three years when the college received a university charter from the Philippine government, the first female president, Linnea A. Nelson, was elected. On the other hand, Linnea Nelson became the first female university president. She was the person behind the establishment of the School of Graduate Studies back in 1951, where she was the first dean of the school. Nelson is an Ed. D. degree holder from the University of California, Berkeley, and had been a missionary in China from 1935 to 1949. She served as the president of Central from 1956-1957 and was again re-elected in 1965-1966. From its founding, Filipinos were gradually given larger responsibilities in its administration. In 1966 the first Filipino president, Dr. Rex D. Drilon, a CPU alumnus and a political scientist from the University of the Philippines Diliman, was elected. 
Dr. Drilon began initiatives for the Filipinization of the university, and made a trip to the United States for the purpose. The American Baptist Foreign Mission Society consented to transfer the multi-million university properties to the Filipinos in consonance with the foreign mission policy of Americans receding and Filipinos advancing. Thus, in 1968 the entire university property, land, buildings, and equipment, was turned over by the American Baptist Foreign Mission Society to the Filipino Corporation of CPU. Since 1973, all members of the Board of Trustees and administrative officials of the university have been Filipinos. Topic. 1990s to recent history In 1998 until 2008, the third Filipino president of the university, Dr. Juanito Acanto term was dubbed as Years of Bliss, Years of Fulfillment, where academic and infrastructural developments flourished in the university, through help from the alumni. It was in his term also, when the university started a goal to raise 100 million PHP and as planned, the campaign started in September 2001 until December 2005. The CPU Centennial Development Fund alone raised a total of 75 million pesos from 182 endowment programs. The helpful endeavor through other endowment fund programs, which started years back, was intensified and is still ongoing, with a total of 433 endowment funds, amounting to 127,500,000 pesos until May of his last year term as the university president in 2007, celebrated its centennial year in 2005, where thousands of alumni from the world came home. The university centennial celebration and followed by the Foundation Day on 1 October owes a lot to the American founders and missionaries who founded and sacrificed for Central, especially to the Reverend William Valentine, the founding father of the institution. Iloilo Mission Hospital, the University Hospital of Central in 2001, celebrated its centennial, commemorating its century of existence and its contribution since its founding in 1901 to the Philippine and American colonial history in the Philippines and in Asia as it pioneered the nursing education in the Philippines, as the first Protestant-founded hospital in the country and the second American hospital in Asia. The Centennial Building was inaugurated in the hospital area proper and the hospital acquisition of the Philips MX8000 CT scan machine, the first of its kind in Southeast Asia augmented amounts from the Centennial Development Fund and the help of various individuals, was used to build and expand the various structures on the main campus, such as the Dr. Alfonso AUY, Student Union Building, a four-story commercial building built through the fund and by Dr. Alfonso AUY and alumnus of the university on the campus, to help augment its operational expenses, and to further raise its financial base, CPU Lifestyle Learning Center prior to the students and the people who wanted to manage their fitness lifestyle, and the CPU Alumni Promenade and Concert Park, which is structurally attached to the also newly built CPU Alumni Center, CPU Alumni Affairs Office, Educational Media Center, where the CPU TV channel and radio broadcast still to this day and the CPU Dining Hall, and the CPU Excel Center. Also, in the school year 2000-2001, the Central Philippine University College of Engineering introduced the Bachelor of Science in Software Engineering. This has earned the college another place in engineering history in the Philippines. It is the first engineering school in the country to offer the course. On 15 August 2001 also, Dr. Ted Robles BSEE 1964, the present university president and a former Milwaukee School of Engineering professor conducted a national seminar on a digital logic software known as the Altera Max++ which was attended by different engineering schools in the Philippines and hosted by the Electrical Engineering and Electronics and Communications Engineering Department of Central Philippine University College of of engineering. The College of Engineering hosted the first ever National Congress on Civil Engineering. Then, a seminar workshop was held featuring Dr. Stephen Agunlana from Asian Institute of Technology as guest professor. 
This was followed by the two more civil engineering seminars, this time featuring alumni, namely, Asian Institute of Technology-based ENGR. Henry Abira College alumnus on geotechnical engineering, and ENGR. Vicente Golvio BSC e 1957 from the United States of America on structural engineering. Seminars on instrumentation and microcontrollers were undertaken with Dr. Teodoro Robles College of Alumnus and present university president, also from the United States of America, as resource person, one of the other prominent infrastructural developments during Dr. Juanito Acanto's term as a president, is the establishment of the university's own television channel, the CPU-TV channel. The television channel, launched in 2001 under its former names, Excel TV, then was changed to CPU Alumni Channel in 2005, and to CPU TV Channel, is the first university-based cable TV channel in Asia, is one big leap in upholding the university's standard in quality education through the use of mass media. There were various new real properties also that is owned by the university when he was in his term as the president. The 24 hectares San Rafael agricultural land and the 14 hectare Guimaras agricultural land Central gained much attention and was lauded by various business and technology sectors in the field of engineering, through its pioneer packaging engineering program and department in the College of Engineering, being the first such in the country and in Asia, organized and hosted the first national conference in transport packaging in 2007 it was then followed also by the first Philippine International Packaging Conference, the Global PAC 2012. Thomas Schneider, President and CEO of the 51-member Nation World Packaging Organization, is one of the delegates of the Global PAC 2012 event alongside with various persons from other countries, government agencies and business sector. Alongside with the Global PAC 2012 conference, a packaging engineering testing center and laboratory and value-added facility of a UN-compliant and comprehensive was donated by U.S. Packaging Hall of Famer and Department of Science and Technology, Dust Philippines, Balik scientist Dr. Leho Brana, is also the first of its kind in the Southeast Asian region. The CPU Philippine Center for Packaging Engineering and Technology, CPU PC PET. The center is backed by the Philippine Department of Science and Technology, the Industries Packaging Institute of the Philippines and a private sector's packaging advocate, Systemat Package. The university currently expanded its numbers of programs in business, agriculture, and medical and health sciences and the recent re-establishment of the pharmacy department. The International Organization for Standardization ISO, prior to the university as an ISO-certified institution, recently conducted an external audit and surveillance for the university's renewal of ISO certification, based on the new standard. The university last upgraded its certification last 2010. The said university's certification, covers educational and support which is up to year 2013. Recently, through international collaborations with other institutions has made CPU to offer undergraduate programs in business administration and accountancy, graduate programs in business administration and public administration, and doctorate degree in management program at Tai Nguyen University TNU, and Tai Nguyen University of Economics and Business Administration TUEBA, both in Vietnam. The university acquired also a level 4 accreditation status the highest level of accreditation that could be given to an individual academic program in the Philippines from Association of Christian Schools, Colleges and Universities ACSCU, in the programs of Business Administration, Accountancy and Education, among others, has made it the top university in the Western Visayan region with programs that has a said accreditation status and level. It ranks first in the Philippines in terms of tertiary academic programs with level 3 level status. The university also ranks first among other universities based on Centers of Development and Excellence list in Western Visayas, where six of its programs designated by the Commission on Higher Education Philippines as Centers of Development and Center of Excellence, while Department of Science and Technology Philippines designated its Civil Engineering Program as Center for Civil Engineering Education. 
Central is one of the two leaders in the Visayas and Mindanao based on endowment funding, with 182 endowment programs and a total of 433 endowment funds in 2007 that is still ongoing and expanding still to this day. Topic. Campus The CPU's main campus sits on a 24-hectare of land in the former city of Jaro which is now a district of Iloilo City. The main campus's essential location is laid back and urban yet away from the distraction of the progressive bustling city centre and metropolis of Iloilo, which has been dubbed as the Asia City of Love or City of Love and Emerging Museum City of the Philippines. Iloilo City is the last capital of Spanish Empire in Asia and the Pacific hence the Spanish influence could be seen elsewhere especially in culture, but during the onset years of university's founding, it had been quite a struggle but it carried thoroughly with the help and auspices of the American Baptist Foreign Mission Society, Central was established and the grant that was given by the American industrialist and philanthropist John D. Rockefeller was vital in purchasing a piece of land that the present main campus now stands. The main campus is a veritable community by itself dotted by acacia and palm trees with more than 30 buildings that dates back in the early years of Central's founding. The main campus plan follows a typical American university and is flanked by various gates. The second gate is the main entrance and bears the university's motto, Scientia et Fides which in English means knowledge and faith. Central is a registered National Historical Landmark by the Philippine Government Cultural Agency of National Historical Commission of the Philippines. Some buildings on the main campus dates back during the early American occupation of the Philippines and characterizes American colonial architecture. Central has been declared by the local government unit of Iloilo City as tourist site and is the only university in the Western Visayas region recommended for tourists as a place of interest, attraction and landmark to visit by the largest travel site in the world, the Trip Advisor. Central has been also hailed as the second of all the 18 beautiful college campuses in the Philippines by an American internet media company BuzzFeed. By order, the University Church is the tallest building on the main campus and meant by the planners as a central and dominant feature of the main campus proper. The church is notable noted for its Indonesian or Malay design and is a famous landmark in Iloilo City. Henry Luce III Library is one of the largest libraries in the Philippines with more than a quarter of a million volume holdings. Inside the Henry Luce III Library is the Meyer Asian Collection holdings of artifacts and other museum and art exhibitions. Other buildings on the main campus include the famous Rose Memorial Auditorium or Rose. Rose was built to replace the old Rose Memorial Hall which was burned down by fire in 1991. The Rose Memorial Auditorium is the largest theater in Western Visayas and has been a famous venue for different international and local kinds of musical and band concerts and conventions in Iloilo. Rose is the annual venue of the prestigious National Bombo Music Festival. Recently, the Cultural Center of the Philippines has designated the Rose Memorial Auditorium for three-year Memorandum of Understanding, as one of the first batch of nine Cultural Center of the Philippines Regional Art Centers or Kaisa Sa Signing Regional Art Centers in 2014, which is the only one in Western Visayas region. Anna V. Johnson Hall, Johnson Hall houses the only residential college in the university. Its residents are students of the College of Theology. The Robley Science Hall, serves as a laboratory building, where science and laboratory experiments classes are held by the colleges and departments of medical laboratory sciences, pharmacy, and chemistry. Also, general subjects of other colleges held classes in Robley Science Hall. Valentine Hall, is a monument to Central's founder, William Valentine, a Baptist missionary. 
It now houses the Colleges of Education and Arts and Sciences of the University. CPU's main campus is enhanced by parks, gazebos, gardens, and open spaces, including the Big Field, Half Moon, Alumni Garden, Santos Park, Nunez Centennial Garden, Kuiping Tree Park, Rex A. Drilone Millennium Park, the Glen at the Cathedral, the Prayer Garden, the CPUCAS Butterfly Garden, and the University Botanical Garden. The main campus is a locally declared tourism site. The university maintains a team of landscapers and gardeners. Annually, the university showcases the Festival of Lights and Music at Central, a joint project of the university and the CPU Alumni Association. The event features lighted figurines, trees and buildings, nativity scenes, and colorful lanterns attracting thousands of local and foreign tourists during the Christmas season. The opening of Lights Festival of Lights and Music at Central remains one of the notable features of the CPU campus. It opens in first week of December and is highlighted with a fireworks display on the opening ceremony. Lighted trees, buildings and figurines, pampanga, capiz shells and native lanterns placed along the major campus roads and nativity scenes add to its festive atmosphere. The CPU Farm in the municipality of Zaraga, Iloilo under the Central's College of Agriculture, Resources and Environmental Sciences is separate from the university's main campus, where the CPU Crop Research Laboratory and other agricultural research facilities and equipments of the college are located, while the CPU Experimental Farm in Leon, Iloilo, which is under the college also, is where the CPU Center for Research, Technology Development and Commercial Production of Philippine Native Chicken CPU CRTD CPPNC, the largest research center for Philippine Native Chicken in the Philippines is located. The University Villages for Faculties and Administration Members of Central, the CPU Centennial Village and CPU FA Heritage Ville Subdivision, are located also separately from the main campus which are both located in Pavia, Iloilo, north of the main campus. Topic. Sustainability CPU's main campus buildings are predominantly painted with eco-friendly lighter shade green color for environmental consciousness and green campus initiative plans for sustainability. The university has laid in place an air quality monitoring system unit, which monitors air quality and the only unit that serves the city of Iloilo. The unit is operated jointly by the university with the Department of Environment and Natural Resources. The other sustainability programs of the university on the campus include a waste water treatment facility for the waste water that is emitted then will be processed to a safer level before it will be dumped back to the environment by the main campus buildings. Back in 2005, the university also launched the CPU New Millennium Tree CPU -NMT, for sustainable development. The said program is designed to heighten environmental consciousness on the university, where it seeks to plant thousands of mahogany trees. <laughs> Topic. Academics Topic. Presidents and administration The incumbent and 17th president and also the fourth Filipino president of the university is Teodoro C. Robles. He is an alumnus of the university, where he studied engineering and graduated in 1964. If the two post-war heads Urbano F. Nequin and May A. Coggins are excluded, he is the 19th university president. Dr. Teodoro C. Robles earned his M.S. and Ph.D. degrees in electrical engineering at Montana State University. It was last 5 September 2008 when the Board of Trustees unanimously elected him to be the new president and it was confirmed by the CPU Corporation in a special meeting on 18 September 2008. CPU is administered by a 20-member Board of Trustees. Incorporated as a non-stock and non-profit institution, Central's Board of Trustees is currently presided by a chairman and a vice-chairman. 
The present director of Iloilo Mission Hospital is also a member of the Board of Trustees while eight of its members are from the Convention of Philippine Baptist Churches. Of the 20 Board of Trustees members, the General Secretary of the Convention of Philippine Baptist Churches sits as an ex officio member. The CPU Alumni Association, the faculty, and the staff are likewise represented in the board. The president of the university's student government, the CPU Republic, sits as representative of the students. Topic rankings The university ranks number one in the Western Visayas region and number five in the whole country in terms of high passing rates in various licensure examinations given by the Professional Regulation Commission. But later than that, in 2007, a report by PRC and CHED covering a five-year period 1994 to 1998 named the top 10 performing schools in the country based on PRC exams and Central Philippine University ranks number 8. CPU holds the distinction as number one in the Philippines in the number of tertiary academic programs accredited level 3 by the Federation of Accrediting Agencies of the Philippines. In engineering, the College of Engineering ranks 10th of 25 top engineering schools in the Philippines. Based also on that is the demonstration of the highest degree or level of standards along the areas of instruction, research and extension. In 2009, the Commission on Higher Education of the Philippines released a report showing the top 20 nursing schools in country based on average passing rates in nursing board examinations. Central ranks 6th having an average of 86.72, data released by Commission on Higher Education Philippines of top universities based on Center of Excellence and Center of Development as of 4 October 2010 for engineering courses, CPU ranks 10th of 25 top engineering schools. Based on that data also as demonstration of the highest degree or level of standards along the areas of instruction, research and extension. Also, based on Professional Regulation Commission Philippines board exam passing rates, the university's College of Engineering was listed and ranks ninth in the Philippines. Unirank, formerly four international colleges and universities, has ranked Central 21st among 217 universities in the Philippines. Unirank is the official web portal of international colleges and universities, an international higher education search engine and directory which reviews over 11,000 colleges and universities in 200 countries around the globe. Tertiary education schools should be duly recognized, licensed and accredited by national ministries of education or higher education accrediting organizations before they qualify and get listed to 4ISU.org. Furthermore, the organization maintains and religiously updates the profiles of the schools included in their list to protect the quality of the information contained in its directory. Unirank is a non-academic ranking body and thus it is not used to measure the academic standards of the organization. It aims to help international students know which university or college is popular in a specific country based on the popularity of their websites, which be could used as reference in selecting a higher education organization. Topic. Accreditation and designations In aspect of academic and non-academic designations, Central has been designated by various local, national, international and government agencies like its College of Engineering being designated by the Department of Science and Technology Philippines as the only engineering school for Western Visayas while the College of Agriculture, Resources and Environmental as Commission on Higher Education Philippines National Agriculture and Fisheries Education System CHED NAFES as one of the center of excellence for agricultural education in the country. The Basic Education Department of High School is also designated as the sole Department of Science and Technology, Philippines Engineering and Science Education Program, DUST ESEP, Division Leader School for Western Visayas Region and likewise it is one of the 15 network high schools in the Philippines. 
The Commission on Higher Education Philippines has also granted the university a full autonomy status one of the few in the Philippines and it is one of the few International Organization for Standardization ISO certified institutions in the country in which its academic programs, instruction, research and extension programs, and facilities are in accordance with or of international standards. Central has been accredited by various accreditation agencies like the Association of Christian Schools, Colleges and Universities ACSCU, where it is a founding member also, the Philippine Accrediting Association of Schools, Colleges and Universities PAASCU, and the Association of Christian Universities and Colleges in Asia ACUCA, while the Association for Theological Education in Southeast Asia ATESEA, solely for the university College of Theology. In terms of accreditation status, the university ranks first in Western Visayas and third in the Philippines, with 15 of its programs designated as Level 4, the highest level of accreditation in the Philippines that can be granted to an individual program in the programs of Accountancy, Business Administration, Social Sciences, Liberal Arts and Sciences, and Education. Central has also designated by the Commission on Higher Education Philippines as Centers of Excellence in Agricultural Education and Business Administration and Centers of Development in Chemical Engineering, Electrical Engineering, Electronics Engineering and Teacher Education, where the university ranks first in the Western Visayas region, fourth in the whole Visayas in terms of the said number of designations. The Civil Engineering likewise on the other hand has also been designated by the Department of Science and Technology Philippines as Center for Civil Engineering Education for Western Visayas. Topic: Academic Units. Central's academic bodies consist three graduate school, colleges, nine undergraduate colleges, the CPU Review and Continuing Education Center a Review and Continuing Education Center, and three basic education schools. Central contains also a library system, Central Philippine University Press CPU Press, three basic education schools, while the university's medical centers are located separately from the university. Central is one of the two leaders in the Visayas and Mindanao based on endowment fund with current endowment between PHP 150 to 200 million, which is specifically for research, academic and other purposes. The university has more than 182 endowment programs and with a total of 433 endowment funds that is still ongoing, Central Philippine University is one of few private higher educational institutions in the Philippines that have been granted full autonomous status by the Commission on Higher Education, CHED, the same government agency that accredited some of its programs as centers of development. CPU is also one out of few ISO certified educational institutions institutions in the Philippines. ISO International Organization for Standardization is a network of the National Standards Institutes of 153 countries, on the basis of one member per country. The Bureau of Product Standards has been the Philippines' representative to ISO, of which the said institute, has accredited the university as an International Organization for Standardization ISO certified institution. The university college academic programs operate on a semester system in which the academic year is divided into two terms, including summer, March or April to May, July to October, and November to April. The school year typically begins in late June or early July and ends in mid-April. However, the two basic education schools of the university, elementary school and high school, runs on a non-semester system, but has a summer term classes, offered by each basic education schools. The senior high school on the other hand operates in two semesters just like the college. Presently, the university confers bachelor's, master's, and doctoral degrees all accredited by either PAASCU a member of FAAP, ACSCUAAI, ACSCAAI, ATESEA and assisted by EDPITAF in its 18 schools and colleges. Topic. Undergraduate 
The university grants Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Science degrees in more than 30 academic majors and including minors, in nine undergraduate colleges. Programs offered in the undergraduate level are liberal arts and science, hospitality management, tourism, theology, engineering, business and accountancy, information technology, library and information science, pharmacy, medical technology, mass communications, public administration and political science, nursing, teaching education, multimedia and advertising, agriculture and environmental sciences. The College of Theology, founded four months before the formal founding of Central's precursor, the Jaro Industrial School in October 1905, is the oldest degree-granting unit of the university. The College of Theology was later merged in 1924, a year after the Jaro Industrial School became a junior college in 1923. The Dr. Lucio C. Tan College of Hospitality Management, Lucio Tan College of Hospitality Management, which is one of the youngest undergraduate and graduate academic units of Central, is named after it was endowed by the notable Chinese Filipino business tycoon Lucio C. Tan. The agriculture, engineering, business, and accountancy and teacher education programs are commission on higher education, CHED Philippines, Centers of Excellence and Centers of Development. Central ranks first among among other universities in Western Visayas in Commission on Higher Education, Philippines Centers of Development and Centers of Excellence list with six of the university programs designated by the Commission on Higher Education, Philippines as Centers of Development and Excellence. The College of Business and Accountancy is the only business school in the Western Visayas region that has been designated by the Commission on Higher Education Philippines as Center of Excellence in Business Administration the only business school with Commission on Higher Education Philippines Center of Excellence designation in the region. It is also the only business school with Level 4 accredited the highest level of accreditation for a program in the Philippines programs in Panay. The university also, through its College of Agriculture, Resources and Environmental Sciences has been designated recently as Commission on Higher Education Philippines Center of Excellence in Agricultural Education and College of Education as Center of Development in Teacher Education. The College of Engineering also ranks first among other engineering schools in the Western Visayas region based on licensure examinations and the only engineering with Commission on Higher Education Philippines Center of Development Programs designation. It has been chosen by the Educational Development Projects Implementing Task Force EDPITAF as one of the ten resource-based schools of engineering in the country. The college also is one of the priority engineering schools in Panay, a Department of Science and Technology, Philippines, DUST, School, Center for Civil Engineering Education, and Heat Treatment Facility for Western Visayas. The college is Commission on Higher Education, Philippines, Centers of Development in Chemical Engineering, Electrical Engineering and Electronics Engineering. College of Nursing and Allied Health Sciences stemmed into three separate colleges in August 2017 namely the College of Nursing, College of Medical Laboratory Science and the College of Pharmacy. Recently, through international collaborations with other institutions in different countries has made CPU to offer like undergraduate degree in business administration and accountancy programs especially at the Thai Nguyen University of Economics and Business Administration in Vietnam. Topic graduate and professional schools Central offers a variety of master's, diploma and doctorate academic degree programs in social sciences, business, education, library and information science, information technology, English studies and communication, liberal studies, nursing, psychology, counseling, agriculture and engineering in all schools and colleges under the School of Graduate Studies, while the Doctor of Medicine program and the bachelor's or undergraduate degree respiratory Therapy and Health, Fitness and Lifestyle Management HFLM academic programs are under the College of Medicine and Juris Doctor JD, and Master of Laws offered under the College of Law. The Medicine which was established in 2003, is one of the youngest colleges and professional schools of the university. 
The Doctor of Medicine MD program was the sole academic program offered by the college but later the bachelor's programs of respiratory therapy and health, fitness and lifestyle management were added in the college. The College of Law was established in the 1930s and confers the Bachelor of Laws LLB degree. In 2012 later, the college changed the Bachelor of Laws program to Juris Doctor JD program. The Juris Doctor JD program of the College of Law is the first Juris Doctor JD program in any law schools in the Philippines approved by the Philippine Legal Education Board. The College of Law in collaboration with San Beda College of Law offers Master of Laws LLM. Topic: Foreign Extension Programs. At present, CPU through international linkages with international institutions, collaborates through joint overseas academic programs especially in Vietnam with the Thai Nguyen University of Economics and Business Administration and Thai Nguyen University with graduate academic programs offered in the both said institutions with the University in Business Administration and Public Administration and Doctorate Program in Management. Likewise on the other hand, the university convenes with the two institutions during commencement exercises ceremony and is the one upon a student completes an academic degree that gives the diploma with the two said Vietnamese institutions. Topic. Basic education Central offers basic academic programs in kindergarten, elementary school, junior high school and senior high school. The university's two basic education departments, the kindergarten and elementary are both accredited by ACSCUAAI as level 2 while the junior high school as level 3. The junior high school department of the university, except that it is accredited by ACSCUAAI as level 3, it is the only EDPITAF assisted and DUST, ESEP division leader school by the Department of Science and Technology for Western Visayas. The junior high school was also chosen as one of the few 15 network high schools in the Philippines. The university in accordance with new kindergarten to 12 basic education program K plus 1 2 by the Philippine government so that the Philippine educational system be aligned and par with the educational systems abroad like in the United States, Europe and other countries established the senior high school department. The Senior High School Department offers General Academic Strand GAS under the academic track of the new Philippine K plus 1 2 Kindergarten to 12 Basic Education Program. Topic. Library System Central's main library, the Henry Luce III Library encompasses the university's library system, which is composed of departmental and college libraries of theology, business and law, graduate studies, high school and the elementary school. Currently, the Henry Luce III Library holds more than 200,000 plus volumes including holdings of special collections like the 40,000 United Nations Documents, World War II Documents, American Studies Resource Center, Meyer Asian Collection, Food and Agriculture Organization and Elizabeth Knox Sacred Music Collection. At present, the Central Philippine University Library is the biggest library in Western Visayas, one of the largest in the Philippines, in terms of volumes and holdings. The Henry Luce III Library's main library structure was built by virtue of a grant given by Henry Luce III, a known philanthropist, an elder son of the founder and editor-in-chief of Time Inc., through the Henry Luce Foundation. It has been designated by the Philippine National Statistics Office on 20 April 1997 as National Statistics Office NSO Information Center for Western Visayan Region. Consortium with the Silliman University Library and the Trinity University of Asia through Accord Library Interconnection started in 2000. 
CPU Libraries formal linkage in December 2002 was started with Library Link, based at the Filipinas Heritage Library in Makati City, on Filipiniana materials. Through linkages, Central Philippine University Library is a depository of the United Nations and the Food and Agriculture Organization (FAO). The library is a regular recipient of library materials from international and local organizations and centers such as the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization UNESCO, Population Council in New York, National Library of the Philippines in Manila, Australian Center for Publication Acquired for Development ACPAD, Population Information Network, and the International Rice Research Institute in Los Baños, Laguna, Philippines. Through the Library Systems American Studies Resource Center ASRC, the only for Western Visayas and one of the few in the Philippines, which is located in the main library Henry Luce III Library, is also a regular recipient from the Thomas Jefferson Information Center where the library has the said and one of the only 13 such centers in the Philippines in Manila, and the United States Information Service. The American Studies Resource Center ASRC, helps, assists students who want to study in the United States through its educational advising program. A Knowledge for Development Center, donated by the World Bank in consortium with the university was launched in 2008 The CPU World Bank, Knowledge for Development Center is one of the few such centers which are hubs for dialogue and research on development issues established by the World Bank in key cities around the country in partnership with leading state and private universities. The main library is also the Philippine Institute for Development Studies PIDS, repository for Western Visayas. Topic. Medical centers Iloilo Mission Hospital serves as the University Hospital of Central. The hospital is separate and distinct in identity which operates independently from the university as governed and operated solely composed of personnel from the university. Although serving as community hospital in general, Iloilo Mission Hospital serves as a training, teaching and as a laboratory facility for various medical-related internship, off-campus classes programs of the university colleges and departments of nursing, medicine, medical laboratory sciences, pharmacy and other allied health sciences, while the College of Theology for its chaplaincy program, and supports the whole medical needs of the whole university. There is also the CPU Birthing Center located on the main campus that operates with attending physicians from Iloilo Mission Hospital. The CPU Birthing Center was built to serve the surrounding community exclusively for laboring women. Central Philippine University also through its College of Nursing maintains a linkage with the Capiz Emanuel Hospital in Roxas City, Capiz. The hospital was founded by Baptist American missionaries in 1913 which serves at present as the University Hospital of the Philammer Christian University. Iloilo Mission Hospital sits on a 7.56 acres 3.10 hectares of land in Jaro, Iloilo City. The 230-300 bed hospital's location is separate from the main campus of the university. It offers a wide array of comprehensive medical and allied health services available to the university's students and to the community in general. It was established in 1901 by Joseph Andrew Hall, a physician and missionary under the Presbyterian Foreign Mission Board, to serve as a venue for the treatment of health care to the very poor, and has the distinction today as the first Protestant hospital in the country and the second American hospital in Asia. The hospital transferred its locations many times, first with its foundation and location in the city center of Iloilo in 1901 and 1905, and the third site in Jaro District. District, where the hospital stands until today, was purchased with the help of the American Baptist Foreign Mission Society and the local community, because more space was needed for the expansion of the hospital, and in 1931, the new building was completed. 
The hospital pioneered in its school of nursing in training women for the professional nursing in the Philippines, which was established in 1906, with three graduates considered as the first three pioneering nurses in the country. Recent expansion of the hospital includes a two story CPUIMH Medical Education Training Center for CPU's College of Medicine, four story modern IMH Iloilo Mission Hospital Medical Arts Building. Building and the proposed seven-story glass design Iloilo Mission Hospital Medical Center IMH Medical Center. Topic: Research and Extension. The university has an active research and extension program that cover various researchers and extension activities. Central collaborates since then with various national and local government agencies, non-profit organizations, international and local industries and institutions for research in different fields. The university annually holds a research and development week. In 2006, the Philippine Commission on Higher Education Philippines CHED awarded CPU Research Center Research Program as one of the 2006 Best Higher Education Institution hey Research Program in the country and the lone awardee from Region 6. In 2011 also, the university received the Best Higher Education Institution Research Program Award and a plaque of recognition as first regional qualifier for Best Higher Education Institution Research Program by the said Philippine Government Agency for Higher Education, the Commission on Higher Education. The university is also identified and designated by Commission on Higher Education National Agriculture and Fisheries Education System CHED -NAFES, through its College of Agriculture, Resources and Environmental Sciences as the Iloilo Provincial Institute for Agriculture, where being the host of the annual regional CPU Department of Agriculture Philippines Agri Research Fair and Exhibits. Originally the CPU Research Center lodged as an integral part of the CPU Outreach Center. In 1998, it was separated with the CPU Outreach Center. It was established to coordinate the research activities of the different colleges and units of the university and to convene and facilitate the affairs of the University Research Committee URESCOM. Since its inception in 1998, CPU Research Center was able to enhance the competency of students, faculty and staff members in conducting research and in applying and disseminating information and findings for the benefit of its constituency and the community. The university's Institutional Research Program IRP, through the CPU Research Center, which provides undergraduate and graduate students, faculty and staff with research opportunities for personal and intellectual growth yielded 119 bounded research reports, 53 ongoing institutional researches, and more than 100 faculty and staff were involved in research projects in 2005-2008, and still expanding to this day. The capability building programs that were regularly conducted increased faculty involvement in research. One major indication that the CPU Research Center and CPU links with the industry and business sector has grown stronger was the signing of a memorandum of agreement between the CPU Research Center URC and the Iloilo Chamber of Commerce in 2003. The agreement was about CPU Research Center's role as the sole consultant, researcher or trainer for the Iloilo Chamber of Commerce. Under the CPU Research Center, the university published two research journals, the Scientia et Fides and Patubas and one research newsletter, the CPU Research Newsletter. The Scientia et Fides, Journal of Multidisciplinary Research and Review is the official journal of higher education publication of the university and is internationally refereed and publishes semi-annually in print and online platform through the university's website. 
Patuba's Research Journal is a refereed multidisciplinary research journal that aims to provide a source of information in the areas of agriculture, natural resources and the environment, social sciences, humanities and the arts, physical and biological sciences, business and management, engineering, information and communications technology, education, health, nursing and medical education, alternative medicine, theology and biblical studies, institutional system and process management, and community baseline impact studies. The objective of the journal is to help education professionals and decision makers disseminate information and learn from each other's work. Patubas is an Ilongo word for product or fruit, a fitting description for this multidisciplinary research journal which is indeed, a product or fruit of labors of researchers or the seekers of the truth in its varied dimensions. Patubas is published once a year under the auspices CPU Research Center. In 2008, Rolex Award for Enterprise awarded the university alumni, professor, inventor and agricultural engineer Alexis Bolonio due to his creation of a low-cost and environment-friendly invention of the rice husk stove. ENGR Bolonio is the first Filipino awardee of Rolex Award for Enterprise that has resulted the establishment of the Center for Rice Husk Energy Technology CRHET, Iloilo Rice Husk Center at Central. The research center is attached to the College of Resources and Environmental Sciences and since it was established, it focuses on various technologies that will be developed and the utilization of rice husks as fuel and clean energy for cooking. The CPU Center for Rice Husk Energy Technology CRHET, obtained funding from the Rolex Awards for Enterprise 2008. CPU is also the Department of Energy Philippines Affiliated Renewable Energy Center CPUAREC, for Western Visayas. The center is one of the most active among the 14 such in the whole Philippines and is funded by the Philippine Department of Energy and the university where it aims to provide research, extension, education for renewable energy with outreach programs and projects to electrify isolated and non-isolated places in western Visayas region. The university also has a Rockefeller Endowed Soils Analysis and Testing Laboratory. The university is also the sole Philippine Department of Science and Technology Philippines heat transfer facility for Western Visayas and collaborates since 2012 with De La Salle University in the fields of transportation and structural engineering research through the Central Philippine University College of Engineering, through the College of Engineering also, the CPU Philippine Center for Packaging Engineering CPU PC PET, a packaging testing center and laboratory facility which as the first of its kind in the Southeast Asian region was established in 2012, in which Central gain attention in the fields of science and technology and breakthrough for packaging engineering research and development in the country and Southeast Asia. The center is backed by the Department of Science and Technology, the Packaging Institute of the Philippines and a private sector's packaging advocate, Systemat Package. As the Western Visayas region is the leading producer of native chickens in 2011 in the Philippines, the universities created a partnership with the Philippine Department of Agriculture along with its College of Agriculture, Resources and Environmental Sciences for the research and development of Philippine native chicken in the country through the establishment of the CPU Center for Research, Technology Development and Commercial Production of Philippine Native Chicken. The research facility or center is the largest research station for Philippine native chicken in the Philippines. It is located separately from the main campus and occupies the entire 7 hectare CPU experimental farm in the town of Leon, Iloilo. The center is facilitated by the Western Visayas Agriculture and Resources Research and Development Consortium WESVARRDEC and funded by the said government agency, Department of Agriculture and the Philippine Council for Agriculture, Aquatic, Forestry and Natural Resources Research and Development PCAARRD, the endeavor of the research and development of the Philippine native chicken through the CPU CARES Research Station for Philippine Native Chicken made Dr. 
Dr. Jamie Cabarles, the CPU College of Agriculture, Resources and Environmental Sciences Dean and Head of the Research Facility The 2014 Commission on Higher Education Philippines Republica Award National Winner in Natural Sciences and Agriculture category, due to his significant contribution as researcher research and development of Philippine native chicken to natural sciences and agricultural research in the Philippine Society, other research and auxiliary centers and extension programs of the university includes the CPU Center for Ideation, Realization and Commercialization CPU CIRAC or CPU Tech Hub, CPU Research and Developmental Learning Center, Building, CPU Center for Local Governance and Indigenous Peoples Studies, CPU World Bank Knowledge Development Center, CPU WBKDC, CPU Appropriate Technology Center, CPU APPROTECH, CPU Crop Research Laboratory, and the CPU Social Science Research Institute. Topic: Cultures and Traditions. Topic: Central Spirit. Central Spirit, which has purportedly served as a social glue, is a term for camaraderie, unity, or reminisce the fond school day memories and activities at Central that has become symbolic of the bond that unites Centralians. Central Spirit is also contrast to what Central was founded for over a century before by the American missionaries and the school's vision. Moreover, there is also a song titled, Central Spirit, which was composed by one of the school's former American presidents, Dr. Francis H. Rose. Scientia et Fides Central's motto, Scientia et Fides literally means knowledge and faith in English. It was chosen by the third head of Central, the late American clergyman Dr. Francis H. Howard Rose, as contrast and coincides to the institution's Christian foundation and belief, which was founded by the pioneer, the Rev. William Orison Valentine. Scientia science is viewed from the standpoint of Christian understanding that God is the creator and sustainer of everything. Science is an avenue where one would know, understand, and appreciate the scope of God's handiwork as well as explore the magnitude of its potentials for the good of mankind. Fide's faith is basically a gift from God. And as a gift, the exercise of such faith will find meaning and purpose within the sphere of God's sovereign plan and direction. In this regard, such kind of faith becomes active and dynamic. It inspires, influences, and transforms anything that comes in contact with as it continually seeks understanding and expresses itself in noble actions that aim to glorify God. Topic. Gold and Blue Gold and blue are both official and athletic colors of Central since it became a junior college in the early 1920s. Gold regards to its scientia motto as excellence and contrast to the biblical standpoint alongside with blue for spirituality from its fides motto when chosen as the official colors of Central in the 1920s. Both reference biblical texts from the books and chapters of 1 Corinthians chapter 3 verses 12 to 13 and Ephesians chapter 2 verse 20 for gold and Numbers chapter 4 verses 6 to 7, 9, 11, 12, 15, 38, minus 40 and Exodus chapter 25 verse 4, 26 to 1, 31, 36, 28 to 28, 31 for blue. Topic. Festival of Lights and Music at Central A month-long FET Festival of Lights and Music which is an attraction every December for the Christmas season in the city of Iloilo that has become a tradition for more than a decade at Central, is held annually since 1998. 
The main campus major streets and buildings are festooned with Christmas lights during the festival and is flocked by visitors or tourists. The festival, starts traditionally in the first week of December, where at the opening night, a traditional switching on of Christmas lights is followed by a grand fireworks display. On the second night after the opening, a Christmas musicale and a signing contest opens with contestants not only from the university but from the surrounding community. Topic. University Day and Foundation Day In 2015, although for many years the University Day festivity was celebrated in August until September, it was moved and combined with the Foundation Day that starts from September and ends in the first week of October. The festivity characterized with intramural games between colleges and schools that starts in September, the annual famous Mr. and Ms. CPU pageant, a university picnic and concerts at the Promenade, Alumni Promenade and Concert Park. At the last days of the celebration is the Foundation Day which is held every 1 October where the university commemorates its founding by the American missionaries as the Bible School and Jaro Industrial School, Central's two forerunner schools in 1905. The commemoration characterized also with a civic parade, a memorial service for the founding father of Central William Valentine and his co-founders, the traditional singing of the Star Spangled Banner along with the raising of the flag of the United States and the Philippines. <laughs> Topic. Athletics Central is member of the Private Schools Athletic Association and the Philippine University Games Unigames. The university's athletic nickname, Golden Lions represents the university in athletic games, the Golden Lions which is established through a proposal by the Rev. Francis Neil G. Gelandro on, coach of the college table tennis teams and associate pastor of the university church, is based on the following Bible verses in contrast as the university was founded by the American Baptist missionaries, Proverbs chapter 28 verse 1. The godly are as bold as lions. Proverbs chapter 30 verse 30. The lion, mighty among beasts, does not retreat from anyone. 2 Samuel 17.10. The bravest are those whose heart is like the heart of a lion. Revelation chapter 5 verse 5. The lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, has triumphed. Jesus is the lion of Judah. Central has adequate playgrounds and facilities for sports and athletic activities. The CPU Gymnasium, Central Philippine University Gymnasium, is the largest university and athletic gymnasium in Western Visayas and can serve as a venue for the following sports: basketball, sepak takraw, badminton, table tennis, lawn tennis, and volleyball. CPU Gymnasium has also can host musical, live and band concerts. The CPU Gymnasium been the official home of the official athletics team of Central and is called the Lions Den, the CPU Golden Lions. Outdoor sports such as soccer and softball can be played at the football grounds, CPU softball field and the ground situated at the Half Moon Drive. The university hosted the 14th Philippine University Games, Unigames. There is also an Olympic-sized CPU swimming pool for swimming competitions. The university main campus can accommodate triathlon sports event. The university tennis courts is also available for use by students and tennis enthusiasts. CPU's Olympic-sized swimming pool is the most modern and biggest school-based pool in Western Visayas. It provides a very convenient swimming area for PE students, athletes, alumni and friends of CPU. Central Philippine University is famed for its football games. The CPU International Football Team, composed of foreign students who are studying at Central matched with the Philippine Football Federation Team in 2010 in Barotac Nuevo, Iloilo. 
Most football players of Central are under the roster of Stallion FC, a club that plays for the United Football League UFL, and is also affiliated with Iloilo FA IFA. CPU also hosted the PFF Smart Club Championship Group B on 9-13 August 2011 which was facilitated by Iloilo Football Association wherein the university is one of the hosts venue. In April 2012, the Western Visayas PRISAA, Private Schools Athletic Association, softball team, composed wholly and represented by Central softball team, defeated the regional teams including the last contingent Region 10 and wins seven second time since 2011 with the gold medal in the 59th National PRISAA Championship. The 59th National PRISAA was held in Cebu City in 2012. <laughs> Topic. Student life Topic. Student organizations Students are encouraged to form groups that enhance their desire for study. The Student Organization Committee SOC, acts as the regulatory body for all student campus organizations. It approves the registration and supervises the activities of student campus organizations. These include religious and cultural groups, academic and athletic clubs and groups. Notable organizations are, Central Philippine University Republic CPU Republic, official student governing body of the university still in continuous operation, CPU Parliamentarian Society, the Central Echo, CPU Bahandi Singers, CPU Handbell Choir, the first and only five-octave handbell choir in the country, and CPU Mountaineering Society. There is also a foreign students organization that assists the university to invite more foreign students to attend Central. Topic. Fraternities and sororities There are more than 10 fraternities and 6 sororities that are local, international or founded in the university that maintains a chapters at Central, as well as fraternity for those who are taking Juris Doctor JD course, Order of Kalantiao, and Phi Beta Epsilon of the College of Engineering. Topic. Student and faculty housing Various apartment facilities, such as dormitories, boarding homes are located on the university's main campus and the university hospital, the Iloilo Mission Hospital which, could provide living accommodations to students. Franklin Hall, is for male residents, Weston Hall, for female residents, while Anna V. Johnson Hall, where the College of Theology houses, is considered as the only residential college in the university, where its living accommodation is limited to the said college, Roseland Hostel, House, Gonzaga House, and Executive House or apartments and borders are both local and foreign students who are studying at Central, are all located on the main campus, and there is also nurses' home in each hospitals of the university that serves as a boarding house for students who are taking nursing course, when classes and internship is conducted at the both two university hospitals. American Village is located inside the campus with various houses for the university faculties and a hostel for students. There are also two residential villages located separately from the university. The CPU Centennial Village, a 2.9 hectare subdivision only for the faculty members of the university. The CPU Centennial Village has 185 saleable units with six types of housing models and CPU FA Heritage Ville Subdivision, CPU Heritage Subdivision is located and adjacent, just few meters away from the location of CPU Centennial Village in Anilao, Pavia, Iloilo. It provides residential community amenities for the faculty and administrative staff of the university. Living in the dormitories and villages is considered a privilege that is granted to the students and faculties who comply with the rules and regulations of the university. Formal admission procedures is followed before admitting anyone to the dormitories and villages of the university.
Topic: Publications. The Central Echo CE is the official student publication of CPU. It was founded in 1910, five years after Jaro Industrial School opened. Established originally as the HO, the Central Echo evolved to be one of the best college student publications in the Western Visayas region. It has been recognized as second best magazine and fifth best newspaper by the Philippine Information Agency Region 6 in 2009. Central Echo publishes and circulates newspaper twice in a regular semester. It publishes magazine also, an art portfolio para, and a summer literary folio every summer. Other publications of the university include The Centralite, The Official Yearbook, The Central Post, The Official Publication of the Office of the University President, and The Central High Echo, The Official Publication of the High School Department. Every college in the university has its own publication. Some of the student writers are associate members of the Iloilo Press Club and the College Editors Guild of the Philippines. Topic Notable alumni People associated or affiliated such as students, faculty members, administrators, honorary degree holders, or other people with Central are called Centralians and the university maintains an alumni association with various chapters throughout the country and the whole world in different countries. Notable people of the university include, John D. Rockefeller, American business magnate and philanthropist who founded the Standard Oil Company, which dominated the oil industry and the first great business trust in the United States, the Rockefeller Foundation, and the one who gave a grant in 1901 to the Northern Baptist Churches to establish Central. He is widely considered as the richest person in U.S. history and the richest person in modern history. Alienette Coldfire, Catchery Jewel Golbin, third place winner of the 11th season of La France on Incroyable Talent, France's Got Talent. Perfecto Aryase Jr. currently serves as the Secretary of Foreign Affairs, Philippines, and former SEC Chairman of the Philippines, 1995 to 2000, and 2010 Philippine Vice Presidential Candidate. Franklin Drilon, Filipino politician from Iloilo and President of the Senate of the Philippines. Calixto Zaldivar, former Associate Justice of the Supreme Court of the Philippines. But later than that he also became a Congressman, Governor of Antique Province and Executive Secretary of the President of the Philippines. Claro M. Recto, former Filipino Senator. Reynado Puno 22nd Chief Justice of the Supreme Court of the Philippines. Peter Irving C. Corvera, Department of the Interior and Local Government DILG, Philippines Undersecretary for Public Safety and Presidential Medal of Merit Philippines awardee. Lucio C. Tan, Chinese-Filipino business tycoon. Alfonso A. U. Y., Chinese-Filipino businessman, former and first president of Federation of Filipino-Chinese Chambers of Commerce and Industry who came from the Visayas and Mindanao. He is also a recipient and awardee of the Dr. Jose Rizal Award for Excellence in Business and Commerce. Felipe Landa Jocano, historian and dubbed as the first and foremost Filipino anthropologist. Alexis Bolonio, Filipino inventor, engineer, scientist and the first Filipino Rolex Award for Enterprise Awardee. He was included also by the Rolex watchmaking company on its list of 10 model innovators in November 2008. He is also one of the first seven modern-day Filipino Heroes Awardees and recipient of the first-ever Yahoo Philippines Pitong Pinoy Awards in 2011 and part of the 25 Heroes for Better during the 25th anniversary of the Western Union Philippines Leonor Orosa Gokwinko, National Artist of the Philippines for Dance, Mother of Philippine Theater Dance and Dean of Filipino Performing Arts Critics. She was the first Filipina and the only dancer sent on the first ever cultural mission to Japan 1939 and the first Philippine folkloric ballerina or ballet dancer. Jose V. Aguilar, the first Filipino recipient of the Ramon Magsaysay Award Asian equivalent of Nobel Prize and also first awardee of the said award Ramon Magsaysay Award for government service category for his work as the father of the community school movement. 
He served also as a consultant on elementary education and later to the UNESCO Consultative Mission to the Philippines. Ramon Muzones, Hiligaynon fictionist, writer and 2018 National Artist of the Philippines National Artist for Literature. Antonio Gonzaga, internationally known music virtuoso and tenor singer. Rosendo Mejica, renowned Ilongo and Visayan journalist, educator, and labor leader who is considered as the dean of Visayan journalists and also established the longest Ilongo existing newspaper in 1913, The Hiligaynon. Rene C. Artera Villa, former acting chairman of Local Water Utilities Administration of the Philippines. Nikasia Cotta, Dorotea Caldito and Felipa de la Peña Gumabong, considered as the first three graduate nurses who graduated from a nursing school in the Philippines from Union Mission Hospital Training School for Nurses now Central Philippine University College of Nursing and Allied Health Sciences, the oldest nursing school in the Philippines. Pedro E. Y. Rio, the first Filipino Doctor of Education degree holder. Neelix Tupas, public servant, politician and chief operating officer and executive director of the National Youth Commission of the Philippines. Danny Fajardo, the president and owner of the Philippine-renowned and leading newspaper Panay News. Alexander Pama, retired Vice Admiral of the Philippine Navy and Undersecretary of the National Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Council of the Philippines. Hector Terrazona, former colonel of the Philippine Air Force, founding member of the Reform the Armed Forces Movement, 2010 senatorial candidate under Ang Kapatiran Party, and consultant, chief of the Airman Examination Board at the Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines. Ezra James Enriquez, former chief of staff of the United Nations Disengagement Observer Force UNDOF, during the Golan Heights standoff in Middle East. Custodio Parcon Jr. Philippine Navy Lieutenant Colonel and one of less than 20 graduates of the Philippine Military Academy to have awarded the prestigious Philippine Medal of Valor by the President of the Philippines. Loreto D. Tupaz, considered as the pioneer and pillar of the nursing profession in the Philippines. She is also considered as the Florence Nightingale of the Philippines. Elvigia Ruiz Mendoza, first female general in the Armed Forces of the Philippines and Florence Nightingale awardee from the International Red Cross. Spicy Morena Luis Aurelio Vale, former Filipina woman beauty pageant and the first Binabining Pilipinas winner to place as a semi-finalist top 15 in the Miss Universe pageant in 1965. She is also included in the Magic Five of the said pageant Miss Universe in the said year also 1965. Ramona Palabrica, GO, United Nations Consul General and the first female general in the Philippine Army. Other than such position and distinction that she held, GO was also the first female military pilot, first female line officer, and the first female battalion commander in the Philippines. Liho Branya, first Filipino certified professional in packaging and the first Filipino and Asian to receive a prestigious award in the packaging community in the United States and worldwide in his election to the U.S. Packaging Hall of Fame. Jovelin Gonzaga, Filipina volleyball athlete, member and team captain of Philippines women's national volleyball team who battled during the 2015 Southeast Asian Games in Singapore. She is also a member of the Philippine Army Lady Troopers and plays as an opposite hitter. She was named in 2013 as the Shakey's V-League Open Conference Most Valuable Player. Maria Daziela Gange, Filipina beauty pageant, second winner of the Miss Filipinas Heritage and the second representative of the Philippines to the international pageant search Miss Heritage. She is also hailed as the first winner of the Miss Filipinas Heritage who came from Visayas and Mindanao. Gilopez Caballo, renowned musician, international violin virtuoso, patriarch and member of the musical family, the Caballos in the Philippines, and Ramon Magsaysay awardee. Glenn Catedral, first Filipino recipient of the American Field Service Scholarships in 1956. 
The said scholarship stipulated one year schooling in public school in the United States while living with an American family. Beningo Hinolan, writer of the first biography article of the Philippine national hero Graciano Lopez Jaina in 1923. Eliza U. Grano, the first exchange professor sent to China by the Philippine government to teach English to university students. Hope V. Hervilla, Assistant Secretary of the Department of Social Welfare and Development Philippines. Enrique Zaldivar, former congressman and Philippine ambassador to Brunei. Hansel Digulo, Assistant Secretary of Department of Agriculture Philippines. Leo Tito Austin Jr. Assistant Secretary for Legal Affairs of the Department of Foreign Affairs Philippines and former Philippine Consul General to Germany. Joshua Miguel Miggy Alcazar, midfielder of FC Barcelona. Estrelita B. Swanson, Nueva Ecija First District Congresswoman. Horacio Palma Swanson, Sultan Kudarat Second District Congressman. Assemblyman Edgar T. Espinoza Jr., Guimaras, Arthur Defensor Sr., present Governor of Iloilo Province, Virginel Byron, former Congressman of Iloilo's 4th District and author of the Cheaper Medicines Bill, Hernan Byron Jr., Iloilo 4th District, Richard S. Guerin, Iloilo 1st District Congressman and former Vice Governor of Iloilo Province, Pablo Nava III, a pen party list. Provincial Woman Governors Daisy Avance Fuentes, former Assemblywoman and present Governor of South Cotabato, and Salvacion Z. Perez, former Congresswoman candidate and Governor of Antique Province. Topic. Notes and references Topic. Notes Topic. Citations and further reading Nelson, Linnea, A., Herradura, Elma 1981, Scientia et Fides, The Story of Central Philippine University, Central Philippine University Valentine, Ina Van Allen, An Oral History, recorded in 1969 and printed by Alpine Vista Press, Longmont, Colorado, 2000 Peterson, Marilyn E., Forshee's Legacy to the Philippines, Prescott P.R., Lafayette, Louisiana, 1995. Lobaton, Angel F., 1981, The Beautiful American, Bacolod. Nolito, Reynaldo M. History of the Church, in Bacolod Evangelical Church Book of Remembrance 1902-2002 Bacolod, 2002.